let's just go ahead and start today's video off, right? How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. In today's video, we are going over a full, in detail, pre-track day checklist that you should go over before you go to your track day. I haven't been to a track day yet, so this is kind of a list I've compiled and put together based on what I think I'm gonna need, what I should check, what I should do and everything. So first and foremost, if you go on, if you wanna go to your first track day, you don't need to modify a vehicle. You're better off going to the track getting to know your car as a baseline of what it's capable of, what you can handle and how it drives. After that, you wanna kind of work off of that basis so that way when you do modifications or do any sort of safety equipment, you can tell the difference from when you started and when you did the modification to see how much it improved or changed the way your car drives. What you do need is the proper safety equipment and the time taken to take care of a vehicle in the first place to make sure that it is ready and will handle a track day so you don't go all the way out there and either get sent home by the track officials for not being up to par with what they want or you know having a failure because you didn't check it. First thing you gotta ask yourself is your car a newer car or is your car an older car? Well ours is pretty old. A newer car is not gonna need as much maintenance to, like check that you know bushings are bad off if uh, you need to change all of your fluids or just your oil or whatnot. So even though we've changed a lot on this car there's still a lot we need to go over. You want to jack up the front end make sure all your control arm bushings, sway bar bushings, if you have a newer sway bar or newer bushings or your place stuff like brake lines you want to check your brake lines make sure they're not leaking. You want to also make sure that you check your coolant hoses and all of your hoses under the hood. Make sure there's no leaks. I mean, if your car burns oil or leaks a little oil, that's fine. Make sure it's not leaking coolant or anything. If there's a big enough leak or if it starts to become an issue, they could send you home from the track or put you back in the pits till you fix it or you can't go back on. Then there are issues like possible check engine lights. My car does throw a check engine light, but it's for an O2 sensor because I removed the catalytic converter and put a high flow resonator on. So it only happens every once in a while. It's just kind of one of those things that pops on when it pops on. That's not an issue. Make sure you bring a code reader. I'm gonna go over what you should bring to the track at the end of this video. Some tracks are pretty tough on windshield conditions. If you have like a crack or a chipped windshield, they may not let you go on track for safety reasons. If you notice you have something that's rather large, I'd get a hold of the track and figure out what their rules and regulations are. Also, make sure when you are going through your inspection, you check your battery because your battery is a huge one that open track days like to hit. Make sure it's secured. Make sure it has uh, battery covers over the terminals. Uh, if you don't have a little red rubber battery cover terminal, they'll probably give you crap for it. Especially in the Miata, these things are known to be bouncing around in the trunk. So you wanna make sure you can avoid any issues you want to make friends in your first track that you don't want to go up and be like, oh man, there's this guy coming up. He's got all these issues with this car. It's going to take forever. I'm going to need an extra inspector. You better come over here. You know, you don't want to be that guy. So now we go into fluids. So if your oil is nearly up to change your oil, I would definitely change it. Uh, I'm actually going to change this today. Uh, for brake fluid, I would recommend either topping off your brake fluid if it's newer or getting it replaced with DOT4 fluid. You don't want to overfill your fluid reservoir. Make sure it's between the cold, hot, Limit. For brakes, pads, and rotors, this is a big topic conversation for going through the track. So I would recommend if your car is a higher horsepower car, like if you're taking a, a newer Mustang or something out there and it's making 400 something horsepower, on your first track date, you're not going to be as aggressive as other people out there. So keep that in mind when going through items. You're not going to go through tires very quickly or brakes. You're going to go through them moderately, like almost as much as you would on an aggressive, I don't know, daily driving experience. You're not going to be out there slaying corners and running hot laps. Keep that in mind. So you, you don't want to have brand new top of the line brake pads and rotors, but have enough life left to go. I mean, you're probably gonna, it's probably gonna take a couple track days to go through a set of tires or a set of brakes and uh, pads and rotors. If your car, if you're riding a low horsepower car like this, don't go out and buy the top of the line brakes. This is your first track day. You don't need all that yet. Maybe you will eventually once you get a little better and you're gonna realize that your driving needs require more braking or more tire. That's fine, not your first track day. So kind of goes along with what I said with having to upgrade your car. Don't upgrade your car, just maintain it and make sure it's ready for the track. Now going back to the tires, you don't need the most aggressive track radial semi-slick tire out there. 
to go to your first track day. And honestly, most people don't even run that in general for track days because they're too expensive. What you want is a good summer street race compound, kind of a little bit of everything. We are currently running Dereza, Dunlop, uh, Z3s. So all tires come with a stamped manufacturer date. It's gonna be four digits. It's going to be the week of the year that the tire was manufactured and the year in general. So it could be like 52, 17 or something. But you wanna make sure that your tires aren't more than about five years old because they'll probably start dry rotting after that. You don't wanna to go to the track with dry rotted tires because you don't wanna put your life or somebody else's life in danger when you blow the tire. You wanna have some sort of identifying factor when you go to the track. I happen to be okay at doing vinyl cutout work. You don't have to go to this extreme. I think this is like what they would ask at a race event. You could use blue painter tape. You could just pick a number, whatever number is you know close to your heart or whatever, or whatever number floats your fancy that day. Throw a number on the side of the car. Track officials will like that. You know, if there's an issue, when you register your car through an open track day or a race event, they will ask you what number do you prefer or what number are you using. Like if there's a track official at a corner, it goes, oh, 99 went off track. They could be like, oh, okay, that's that's this guy. All right, we'll we'll go out there and we'll help him out. So they know immediately what who you are based on your numbers. So that's why race cars have numbers. Okay, so now we are going to get into the tools section of this. All right, now as far as equipment you want to bring to the track, these items right here are pretty much everything outside of duct tape and zip ties. And I wanted to try and find a temp gauge to read my tire temperatures after tracking. We actually know we're gonna bring the jack too. I definitely wanna bring the jack. You guys, you probably wanna bring a canopy. I have a canopy upstairs, I'm gonna grab that. Shoes, gloves, helmet, visors, just the other stuff you're gonna need. There's probably more I'm not thinking of, you know, like beverages, it's gonna probably be hot at the tracks. So you don't wanna forget to bring beverages if it's gonna be hot. So guys, if you found this video helpful or you thought there was something that needed to be added please comment down below uh, like the video subscribe if you want to see more videos we are going to the track tomorrow morning so i'm going to be doing a lot of like talking through the day and everything because it is my first experience if any of you guys have ever been curious of what it's like you'll be able to see that and i'm going to try and get you lots of footage on the track maybe i can get a passenger i don't know the rules yet so i'm just going to go with the flow on this one but i'd like to thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate all the love and support i get on the channel Peace out and keep turning those gears.